owner of this sick world. Now pay attention. We're looking at Zoltan, Hound of Dracula, or Dracula's dog. <laughs> Just to clear this up straight away, no dogs were harmed during the making of this film. This one got buried, but that's okay, right? <laughs> The movie follows Zoltan and Dracula's faithful servant, Vite, who can communicate with Zoltan telepathically. Zoltan. Remember, telepathy only works if you purse your lips. It is time. Having been resurrected by an idiot, <laughs> the pair set out to track down Dracula's last surviving descendant. Young Michael Dracula. Michael Dracula. And where is he now? In America. But what's in a name? I'm sure he has all the charisma, poise and... Honey, the whole point of this trip was to get away from civilization. Seriously? This guy? Yeah, how'd you know? Big let down to the bloodline. Yeah, I'm gonna sue all those people who've been making Dracula pictures without my permission. Michael's only hope of survival comes in the form of Che Guevara's dad. I have some wooden stakes in the car. I will show you how to use them. Played by Jose Ferrer, the only man to win an Oscar, an Emmy, and a Tony for playing the same character. Trust me. God alone knows what he's doing in this. A very funny joke, Mr. Drake. All Zoltan has to do is bite Michael. Don't forget, he wants your blood. That's it. And to achieve this, he invites set about... <laughs> recruiting other dogs. <laughs> Why? Why not humans? See, if they turned one human, it could have opened the bloody door for them. Because at times, only opposable thumbs will do. What the hell are wild dogs doing in this park? This movie is a slave to a concept that is not so much flawed as catastrophically bollocks. Oh, yes, of course, I know what that means. I mean, there are other issues. You can't take a picture of a vampire. Why isn't Zoltan bursting into flames at this point? Oh, that thing. Yeah, that thing. Then there's all this last surviving descendant, cobblers. Don't forget, you are the last of the line. He's got two kids! You can't miss them! Because the movie effectively stops for half an hour of National Lampoon's Transylvanian vacation. Thank you, Daddy. Worst of all, if you can resurrect a vampire by pulling the stake out of its chest, why not just resurrect the original? The underground blasting uncovered a Dracula tomb. The movie starts in this fucking tomb! Is anything the matter? This movie has nothing but a title, Dracula's Dog, and their slavish adherence to it pisses over any chance of the story making sense. Right? Right. Right. Plus, Dracula's Dog gets chased off by other dogs. Well, I'm not worried about the dogs. And he's killed just way too easily. <laughs> was the last of them. Still, at least they managed to save the most truly ridiculous moment to the end. If you've got a film you'd like us to review, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe.